my name is Frances Sierra. I am the director of Space Sweat. My name is Ariel Filikile, and I am doing concept art for Space Sweat. Hi, I'm Alejandro Vibriesca, and I'm also a concept artist. So, about Space Sweat. You play as Juan Carlos, a maintenance engineer who works for Area 51, where getting lost in space is just your day-to-day -day occupational hazard. Your goal is to use your wrench, your mop, and anything you can find to fix the ship and travel back to Earth at warp speed. Scattered across the ship, there are maintenance robots. You can think of them as futuristic Roombas that are glitching. They're gonna try to smudge you like an unwanted germ and you're gonna have to clean up their act to survive. After every machine has been fixed and puzzle solved, you still have the asteroid belt to navigate through. After that, you'll be able to go back home and then face the next ship, the next level, the next challenge. So this game is made for the Oculus Rift which allows you to look around your environment without being restricted to a controller. There's also very limited titles out right now for the Oculus. They're usually just a few minutes long with limited graphics. So working on Space Whipped, like polishing this game to be complete, your work will stand out with very few competitors. And virtual reality is also very new. People don't know what, is, what makes virtual reality fun yet. So participating in Space Web lets you be in the forefront of discovering what works and what doesn't work for virtual reality. We're targeting PC with the Oculus Rift and the STEM controllers, which is like an advanced Wii nunchuck that does hand tracking. After the game is complete, we can consider porting to the Sony's Morpheus headset and Samsung's Gear VR. Towards the end of fall, we would like to start an online campaign to build an audience for our release in summer through Steam or Oculus Share. And if the launch is successful and we can maintain a fan base, we'd like to create a Kickstarter to make a sequel. So there's also risks involved with the Oculus. It's still very new, there isn't a large community, so if we run into any problems during the development, it's up to our team to tackle it. We're currently looking for one user interface designer, one 3D modeler for environments, two Unity scripters eager to work with the STEM system and the Oculus, one storyboard artist interested in not only the art but working on the storyline, two concept art artists for environments, one animator who's comfortable with character animation and mechanical animation for robots, ships, and other props, one game designer, and one producer. And here is a short video of an early prototype for our game. Here's also some artwork from our game. And whenever we're ready, I, we can do Q&A. It sounds like you're ready, so let's do it now. <laughs> Goody. Awesome. Uh, questions? Yeah, can you come to the microphone so that it gets recorded? <clears throat> that was really cool. That looked great. That was awesome. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it works. OK. I hate microphones. Um, uh, so it's an Oculus game, correct? Yes. So what's the point of view of the camera, and how do you reconcile that against a third-person action game? So we're currently just part of Space Swept is to experiment what works with virtual reality. There are games already in third person for the Oculus where the character might wave at you and 
I have been told that the players will actually wave back, even though they're just waving at the air. So we're, we're going to experiment with both third-person view and first-person view to see what creates a more fun experience. Thank you. That was apparently an extremely good question. Thank you, Goody. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Yes, in the back. Come on up here to the microphone, please. It would actually be easiest if people would queue up, sort of GDC style, right behind the microphone. Uh, hi. Uh, it looks really fun. And, oh, thank uh, you. Well, I'm a 3D modeler, and I was wondering, how, do you, how are you planning to jump from 3D model to animation, or how are you going to rig them? Do you have already people? Or? So we do have 3D modelers and uh, riggers, texture artists, but we're just a handful of students that have been working outside of a collaborative class. So we've been struggling to get by. We need artists like you to really push this, pro this uh, game forward and create something awesome. Oh, OK. Thanks. I, li I like the puzzle gameplay, but I was wondering, is the puzzles, are they randomized? Or, or how, do you, how do you get replayability into the game? So currently, it's more that you'll get a, get a score your score is basically your paycheck. If you leave the ship in mint condition and you get all the bonus points, you get a raise. Okay. If you destroy the ship, that cuts your pay. Nice. Hi. Looks great so far. Um, I have kind of a two-part question. One is, um, it looks like you've already started working on it a little bit. So I'm kind of curious how much of a team you have and what the composition is, how much tech versus art and that sort of stuff. And. Um, also, uh, Oculus and, and VR is kind of new technology, so how much experience does your team have with that? So our team is really just a handful of students just on and off participating when they have time. This is why we're looking to have an official collaborative class. We have probably an even amount of art and tech side. I'm also a bit of a generalist, so I've been providing a lot of the assets in game. For the Oculus, I would say I'm probably the one on the team who has more experience with it because I have a DK1 and a DK2. I have held public demonstrations to see people's reactions to indie games already out, and I'm used to setting up the Oculus for multiple devices. Great, thank you. Hey. Hello. So building off of Goody's question, your timeline states that you would be finished around June 2016, I Yes. Believe. So. But you also mentioned uh, experimenting with point of view, uh, <clears throat> sorry, point of view and the STEM as well. Yes. How much time will you re realistically have to experiment before you have to make a final decision? So as you saw the video of the gameplay, we already have basic mechanics down. Integrating the Oculus was pretty simple. The STEM is a new challenge that we'll have to deal with when we're able to. We can already experiment with first-person view and third-person view, and we're, we're ready to tackle those challenges. We just need the, basically the team, the whole team, the collaborative class to really push this forward. Thanks. Hi. Uh, since it's going to be on Oculus Live, who is going to be your target audience? What? Who is going to be your target audience? Let's see, I would say probably ages 10 to 17. This is supposed to be a fun game kind of for everyone, but a younger audience. It is more stylized, cartoony, and just quirky. Oh, thank you. If it's fast. Yeah, just a few right. seconds. So if, if you guys could give us a little um, inspiration or how you got your inspiration for the art style. I have one basic question. Uh, the questions are, this is the last question that we can take for this particular project, okay, sorry. sorry, sorry. What, how did you get your uh, art style, your inspiration for the art style for this game? Well, I'm a big fan of animation. I'm actually from the animation department, but I also have a deep passion for games. And I just, from movies like Paranorman and Pixar, that's kind of where the style came from. Cool. Thank you. For, let's hear it for them. Let's, thank you very much. Space Swept. Thanks, guys.